What's up, Quinners? Welcome back to Quinn. I haven't seen you in a while. I was on vacation. I had a great vacation, by the way. Thanks for asking. But it's good to be back, and let's get back into it with a little Stack Plus. And to help with that, we have Bridget on the show, a real Hi, Cyber Vista Security Plus student. Welcome, Bridget. Thank Thanks for you. being here. Uh, I see your hat says Keymaster. So. Oh, that's right. See, well, it's kind of backwards, so I guess I'll just... No, we, we still can't read it. Yeah. Okay, key master. So, since you know so much about keys, let's talk a little bit about certificates. And we're talking about certificates, we're of course talking about uh, public key infrastructure, which has to do with what? Symmetric or asymmetric? Asymmetric. Nice. So, what we have here is we have a pen tester who needs to check the status of a certificate. Sometimes certificates are naughty and they get revoked. So, uh, we're actually going to find out how they would actually do this. Now, there's a big alphabet soup here, Bridget, so can you just kind of break down some of this for us here? All right, first off with A, we have the CA, which is the Certificate Authority. So this is what actually gives out the revocations. So obviously they'll have lots of information mm -hmm. for us there. And then we have the Registration Authority, which is when the Certificate Authority gets busy. It's there to help him. So really not relevant to what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. So then C, we actually have a joke here. It's CRL. So this stands for the Certificate Revocation List, or the CRIL, as the cool kids call it. <laughs> so with this, it's sort of like a black list of issued certificates that have been revoked or expired. So mm. definitely would help us. And then D, we have the OCSP, which is the Online Certificate Status Protocol. Basically, same as our CRIL, but it's online. So. Yes. Mm, so we have really three good answer choices here, but there's something in the question that's actually going to separate one answer choice from the other. So you know what that is? It starts with a Q, Qu and it's not query. I give you a hint. Quickly. Quickly, exactly. Very yeah. good. Bridget, you've solved that quickly. So quickly, speed is of utmost important, right? So what we're looking at here is like you're explaining with OCSP, it's the same thing as a Krill, but it's online. So the Krill, the disadvantage is you have to download it. So that takes a lot of time, space, and memory. So the OCSP is a faster way to actually query to check the status of a certificate. Now, it's D is the right answer here, not A, because CA is the entity that actually puts out the OCSP or, and the CRIL, but we're not really looking for the entity, we're looking for what they put out. So really in this case, D is the better answer choice here. So Bridget, thanks so much. Thanks for coming on the show. No problem, I gotta say I'm a big fan of the show. You don't watch the show. <laughs> what? You've never watched the show what? before. What are you talking about? I watch it all the time. No, you don't. This is literally your first video. What? Are you kidding me? You don't, you've never been on YouTube before. What's going on YouTube?